When it's your first time coming into the metaverse, it's quite easy to navigate and move around in the scene. You can use the AWSD keys to move around. You can click your mouse and hold to rotate your point of view, or you can use the arrows on your keyboard. To activate your microphone, you just have to click down here in the bottom right, and once this is on, it will turn green so you'll know that yours is activated. You can also see when the other users have their microphone activated. There will be a mic symbol above their avatar's name. Should you have your microphone disconnected or connected to a different one, you can just click in the settings in the top right and choose the microphone source that you want. This also is good for choosing the correct webcam as well. To activate your webcam, in the right-hand side here, you have the camera icon. So you simply click and then click Share Webcam. You will see your own webcam down here in the bottom left, but the other users will see it like I see Adrian's above his head on his avatar. This is where others will see yours as well. You can also wave hello, dance a bit, and you've got a lot of different emojis here that you can send up to interact with the other users. There's also a chat box that goes to everyone that's in the same room. So if I know a user's in here but can't find them maybe, or just want to say hello to everybody, you can use this chat box function here. All right, so let's check out the screens in one of the private rooms. Let's go over to room seven here because there are two screens. Uh, as a side note, there is 3D spatial audio in the scene. So if Adria and I are very far away from each other, we won't hear what we're saying. And as we get closer, we hear each other louder, just like in real life. Now, as we go into one of these private meeting rooms, these are private conversations. And you see right there in the top middle that you've entered a private zone. That means that even if Adri is standing right outside of the door, he won't be able to hear the conversation that's happening in here, and he won't be able to see the content that's being shared on the screens. So to share on the screen, it's quite easy. You can either share your webcam or you can share your desktop. To show the privacy function in real time, let's have Adri share his desktop on the right side, and I'm going to leave the private meeting room. Now, as you can see, I can't hear anything that Adri is saying, and I also can't see what is being shared on the screen. Essentially, this means that when you're in these private zones, they are completely confidential. Nobody on the outside within the lobby can hear or see anything that is happening. Now, let's say that you want to have a meeting with someone and you want to bring them directly into the scene with you. You can click this button, invite to join, and this will copy the URL, and you can send that URL directly to the person that you want to join the scene that you are in. And they will come directly here and skip the scene list from the start. And last, but certainly not least, let's check out the AI avatars here. This one has been trained with vertway information about this particular scene. So let's see. Hello, who are you? Hello, I'm Emily, your virtual assistant for Vertway's smart office. How can I assist you today?